What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video we pull out the old 1FZ FE engine from this 105 series Toyota Land Cruiser. For those of you that don't know, we're putting in a BMW M57 diesel engine. 3 litre turbo diesel from an E53 X5. So let's get to it. First of all, let's rip the bonnet off. Righto, so we got the bonnet off, got the bar off, and worse, I don't reckon, than leaning over a bull bar or climbing up over it. So that's off. Now let's start to strip some things. First of all, we're gonna start up with the air intake, labeling absolutely everything, every sensor that we know, because we're probably going to get rid of most of this loom and integrate the other stuff into it. Map sensor. pressure switch is next we have to keep the switch itself because the dash needs it so i won't show too much more of this but intakes up i've gotten all the injectors harness labeled everything we're not going to need most of this anyway because it's all on the uh m57 side anyway but there's a fair few sensors so coolant temp we're going to need and we'll need uh, oil pressure i'm thinking also uh, tps sensor because i would like to try and use the toyota's factory cruise control on it so yeah just pulling out this loom down low there's a heap of sensors on this engine wiring's out uh, removed from the gearbox as well and pulled through so i'm probably going to make a multi-connector on that like a deutsch pin or something uh, just to make it really easy if we ever have to remove the box again one plug and it's all out uh, we're going to tidy all that up obviously once the engine's out i'll deal with all that uh, next thing up let's just remove this radiator get some access in the front AC compressor is flopped to the side. I have to get that degassed. Uh, we will have to adapt to these lines or something down the track. So yeah, I'll have to degas that. Auto trans cooler lines are disconnected and capped off as well. And also it looks like we're gonna need a new AC condenser. So uh, drive shafts off underneath, couple other bits and pieces and we'll pull it out. Okay, so jumping underneath, I'll show as best as I can. I'm gonna check that our frame is sitting level, now it's sitting 100% level there. Okay, transfer case pinned in angle because when we go back to that, hopefully you guys can see. When we put the uh, the new engine combo in, we want to match that exactly. 86 and a half to 87 degrees. So we want to copy that. Righto, bell housing bolts are done except for a couple of bottom ones I've got to get to. Uh, starter motor's out and I've done a couple of other bits and pieces so I'm just going to loosen up the engine mounts here and then we can wheel the engine crane in and under. I haven't showed too much because it's pretty boring stuff and it's really hard to get in there and actually film. Uh, I have sawzall the exhaust off too, I think I did mention that, so that's cut off. I had a hell of a time with this exhaust over the past 12 months, kept coming loose so I ended up welding the nuts on and bolts on because I just couldn't for the life of me get that to stay on those flanges so yeah they'll be a pain for the uh the the purchaser to get off but you probably just replace the extractors anyway Like that, the engine's out. Now time for the gearbox. Alright. Oh, you go down a bit more and then I'm gonna slip some cardboard under it. Yep, that'll probably that's probably all you got, is it? Alrighty, so there it is, the engine is out. How exciting is that? I've got a lot of cleanup work to do. Uh, I need to clean the chassis rails, clean all the grease off and stuff. Uh, I need to clean up the firewall a little bit. Now, the people that are engineering this, I need to talk to them about the firewall material just to see if they want me to replace that or not. Anyway, here's the old engine here. It's funny, looking at this thing side on uh, with a tape measure, it's about 100 mil longer than the M57. So we're gonna save a little bit of length there, but you can just see it's a little bit greasy, needs a little bit of work, 
But yeah, it's good having this thing out. I just couldn't afford to keep filling this thing up, driving it, especially towing the caravan. There's no way I could tow the van around Australia with this engine, unfortunately. And maybe if it was on gas, but anyway. So the last thing here to do on the video is to strip this gearbox away from the transfer case. Right, with the gearbox trans okay split I can store that one this one will uh, be sold very soon uh, we can drag this over to the engine and the only thing I would like to do over here is take off our oil pressure sensor we have to keep off the old engine and also the coolant temp sensor we need to keep as well and I have kept some cruise control bits which is that little solenoid on the top of the motor there I'm gonna try and get the factory cruise to work potentially now we'll be buying new switches anyway or sensors sorry anyway but it's good to have an old one to reference from. Once this engine's gone, I can't exactly do that easily. So I'm just going to take them. Oh, I might get a little bit of oil out of that. All right, so there'll be two coolant ones here. One, I believe, is the gauge, which is fairly basic, and the other will be to tell the ECU when the engine's at operating temp and adjust the fuel mixture. So I'm just going to snag both. It'll be the one with the single wire which will be that one there, but I'll have it anyway, just in case. So there you have it, out with the old, basically packaged up, ready for the fella to come pick all that up. He's actually building a turbo 1FZ engine, uh, billet internals and everything, so that engine will be perfect for that. Uh, it's been super reliable, and it does kind of suck that we've pulled it out in a way, because it hit the key and it just went every time. So uh, it's, it's been a really good thing, and it's it towed the van quite well, but again, I just could not afford to run it. So on to bigger and better things, super keen to get the diesel put in here. But that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. So it's been quite a short video, this one, but I just wanted to get the engine pulled out and show some progress on this thing. So we are getting super close now. Doing all the engine work just took ages, Pulling the engine out was really quick. It's putting it back in. That's going to be the hard part and take a lot more work. So we've got plenty more to come. If you guys are doing this swap, have done it or considering it, leave it in the comments down below. I'd like to hear about it. Definitely go check out ASL mods for everything M57 related. If you guys need anything there, hit those guys up. As always, to keep up to date, definitely consider subscribing. So smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss out on anything. I'll catch you in the next one.